Okay, we're sitting in the Panamera Turbo S Sport Turismo. I just made a great necklace. Uh, anyway, the really. Man får ju typ inte köra. Man kanske får köra när det här. Bara varnar. Uh, anyway, um, the impressive thing is the hybrid technology combined with a really powerful petrol engine. So 550 horsepower and uh, <coughs> really decent electric engine in addition to that. I actually tried to do a launch with only electric engine uh, and uh, also testing top speed. Top speed is around at least 140 km per hour only with electric engine. And 0 to 100 in like 15 seconds only with electric engine. Uh, so what that means is that uh, the response is absolutely instantaneous thanks to the electric engine because the little delay you might have from a turbocharged engine is uh, deleted uh, thanks to the electric engine. Uh, and the uh, only thing is uh, you have this instantaneous response button, so if you push this button, everything is set to max. Sport response, so it will count down 20 seconds. And I was not... It's a bit slow there, I, wasn't... I should launch before the bus there. But... I was talking too much. Um... So if you can see uh, on uh, uh, hybrid technology here, we have the e-flow. And uh, now it's coming from uh, we're, we're, we're um, using the in Sport Plus the electricity is used for torque you feel. Instant, super instantaneous response that I never felt in another car and, uh, except 918 Spider. Um, so what really impresses me is uh, the response from rolling like really low speeds because you have this instantaneous grip from uh, uh, from the four wheel drive and wide tires. And it's just super, just fly away. I mean, I don't think anything can can follow you uh, on, on these rolling starts at, at slower speeds. Then, at higher speeds, you might feel the heaviness of the car. I mean, after all, it's 2,300, 2,400 kilos. And uh, that is noticeable uh, when you creep up in speed, but this instantaneous response is something I have never imagined in any other car. And it's also nice, once you've been driving hard, you can just put it into electric and, and uh, go on all electric. Now this battery is not so much charged, so uh, it can't switch to all electric now. So I'm gonna go drive and wash the car. And also it's nice to have this double clutch gearbox. Nothing, now automatic, just a really fast double clutch gearbox. So that's, uh, that's also in addition to that. Oh, that's nice, that's a Ferrari 599. Look to the right. Um, it's 
so anyway, just that's it for now. Washed this beauty. And uh, I didn't realize how relaxing it is just driving on only electricity. And I didn't either realize the re response you have from electric power. Or I knew from the 918, but on a, on a street or a family car, uh, this is uh, really uh, something I'm not used to. So to experience that, I usually switch the gear lever to left to have a manual gearbox. And everything below 100, I think, the response is really something out of this world. If you're driving first gear, 20 kilometers per hour and we just give full gas. And it's, you really feel that it's a PDK gearbox. It's, you, have the, you have the kickback. Instantaneous kickback uh, from the gearbox, in addition to that electric power. And that's uh, and it's never a question of not having a grip. You always have grip. I think only once the ESP have come on on this car, and, and it's uh, or PSM. I think the Porsche uh, wording is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In sport mode, it's really, really like. Uh, uh, uh. Um. It's a sports car in this mode, that's for sure. Um, and you feel you have the thumb grip here, small diameter steering wheel, 918 Spider steering wheel with uh, I measured the best time 3.2 seconds with launch control. And uh, I mean I don't know what comes close to that. The grip is just crazy. I mean, the amount of grip when you're coming out, now we took the wrong lane. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, the amount you have when, when uh, uh, coming out on, of the roundabout is really something. <laughs> it's a, it's a fun car, and then you can just go to hybrid and manual gear, an automatic gearbox, hybrid and automatic gearbox, and then it's just uh, really taking it easy. You have the one of the most luxurious cruisers available. Just put in cruise control, which is a bit tricky to learn, but now, and you have zero if you see, see on the rev limiter, uh, it's zero RPMs. You can just kick back here, take it, take it, taking it easy. Um, it's also have a lane, um, not lane change assist, but lane departure assist, I believe. Maybe it's called that in BMW language, but you know, you don't have to hold the steering wheel. Uh, and you don't have to have the foot on the gas either. It's really something. Yeah. And 
we are in a tunnel. Let's not forget about that. So, if you have a look here, beautiful tunnel in Sweden. Uh, but if we take down the window a little bit, you hear all the other cars. The engine is not even on. Let's put the, on the engine now. exhaust on, I think we have. Yes, it's enabled. And then you could just turn to hybrid. I put in cruise control. I assume, or like, feels like a uh, feels like the point with this car is, and you can use it as a regular Panamera turbo on, on longer stretches, but um, uh, drive thousands of kilometers in a row. Uh, but then you arrive to a congested city, you could just let it go on electric uh, through. The, all day, several days in the town because you have a range up to 35 40 kilometers. And I mean, 40 kilometers within a city is really long. It's a good thing, it doesn't cost you anything of idling. I mean, yeah, maybe air conditioning and things like that, but uh, yeah, you really can go through long uh, or large city centers. I mean, Manhattan up and down many times um, in electric only. Uh, so it kind of makes sense. The only thing that's, that you feel in higher speeds is that the car is heavy. Uh, it is 2,300-2,400 kilos. Special Sport Tur Tourism is even heavier. Uh, the Turbo S version is uh, at the extra battery. Is it maybe several hundred kilos lighter or 120 kilos or heavier, 120 kilos heavier. Uh, so it's a, you feel that it's a heavy car. I mean, it has 410 millimeter, 415 millimeter brake disc in front that really stops the car at all times. But it doesn't take away the fact that the car is heavy. So that's the bad part with the hybrid. Uh, so we're gonna maybe take some nice drone shots with it now. Uh, south of Stockholm. Thank you. We have two electric cars. I'm driving on complete battery. And that's also a complete battery. 
but I have in addition to that 550 horsepower as well. This is funny to see. It's the first time I see like a completely not hot car because of the it's electric electricity. It's no combustion engine at all. So now I've got that möjligheten så att inställt på att ladda batteriet så mycket som möjligt. När man då släpper gasen till exempel i nedförsbackar så ser du hur laddningen ökar batteriet. Snart har vi åstadkommit 75% laddning. Ten millimeter huge brakes. 